Let the, let's get this over. We got this. It's day five, and you know what to do. Shall we? A, apple, a. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. D, dog, E Ed E F Fun F G Gang H Hat I itch I J jug J K kike L lamp U M man M And not mm. O octopus O ah. P pan P. Q U queen Qu R rat er S snake S T top T U up a uh. V van V W win W X fox X. Y yellow Y Z zebras and practice makes it what you got that perfect well this is day five of the letter what letter? Exactly. Letter F. So, here we go. We know that we point to the sky, come down to the grass, pick our marker up, and go across the sky and the plane line. But we also have to remember the letter L that also points to the sky, comes down to the grass, and goes across on the grass line. We also have to remember the letter T, who also starts on the sky, comes down to the grass, pick your marker up, and go across the skyline. Those are the last three letters that we have been studying. But if I go to the vowel, it's also a straight line. Look at this one. Point to the sky, come down to the grass, pick your marker up and go across on the sky, on the plane line, and on the grass line. And that's letter E. F-L-T-E. So there's a lot of these letters that are straight lines that make it easy for you to kind of get it together. What's really important is that you practice it on your sky letter formation board because this is the place where you need to practice these letters to get it better and better and better each day let's start with the f point to the sky come down to the grass pick your marker up go across the sky and the plane line i kind of did it over it huh 
Let's erase that a little bit. A little bit. Now we're doing the L. Point to the sky, come down to the grass, and go across on the grass line. Next one, letter T. Point to the sky, come down to the grass, and go across the skyline. And the letter E. Point to the sky, come down to the grass, pick your marker up, and go across on the sky, on the plane, and on the grass line. These are the letters that you should be practicing every single day. This is not an excuse to not do it. Because when you don't do it, it doesn't come out good. So, let's continue with our letters that we have on our magnetic letter board here on the video. But that you do have them in the classroom in a easel. And the easel... It was exactly the same set of letters that we have here. So, the letter F is for this week, so I'm going to put it at the end. I'm going to put the vowel right behind it, and we're going to start playing around with the initial uh, vowel, uh, consonant. So let's start with B. And now we're going to tap it. B, E, and F sounds. Ready? B, E, F, B, F, hmm, is that a real word or nonsense? It's a nonsense word. So let's do it again. B, E, F, B, F, changing the B to a C. If the C is before the E, it's a soft C. So now it has a s sound. Ready? S e f sef again. S e f sef. That's also a nonsense word. Well, let's continue with the letter L. This is almost a word. We're going to miss one letter here to make a real word. Shall we? Here we go. Tap it with me. Ready? U, e, f, left. Again. U, u, e, f, left. I should need a T and it says left, right? But it's a nonsense word. We continue with the letter S. Now S makes a S sound. Ready? S-F, S-F, got it, S-F, S-F, also sounding like the C behind the E. Now let's look at T. T is here, and now we're going to tap it. T-F, T-F, again, T-F. Tef. So, we have been learning how to tap it, and it's always a question, why? Because it's a strategy that you need to use when you don't know a word. And learning with the beginning basic of this is going to help a lot on getting the strategy down and being able to do it yourself. Well, we're going to continue now with the last part of day three, which is using our puzzles. Remember that? If you didn't remember, you're going to remember now, because now I'm going to incline my camera. And as you see, we have several <coughs> of these. And I'm going to look to see which letters am I going to work with today. <clears throat> well, today we have the letter F, the letter L, and the letter C. Let's look at the first picture. This is fun. Fun. Does it match with C? 
if you see, it does not. So it doesn't go with C. If you've noticed, it doesn't even go with L. But let's try with F. You see? Now we made a match. F fun f is the match. Ready? Now let's continue. But wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't leave that space available. Let's put letter S. Shall we? Well, here goes the next one. Lamp. Lamp. Does lamp match with the S? No. Does it match with the letter C? No. But if I look at the letter L, and I remember that L lamp, ooh, then this is a perfect match. Okay? Good. Now let's put this to the side. We cannot forget the matches of F and L. Okay? So I'm going to put a vowel. Now we have a letter E. Look at this one. This is a snake. Does snake go with the letter C? No. Does it go with the letter E? No, and it's not even the same color. But would it go with the letter S? And if we make a match, it's S snake S. You see? Now, sorry, we're going to continue with another letter here. Here we have T, E, and C. Well, look at this one. This is going to be easy because it's the same color, so it's going to go with E, Ed, E. See that? Good job. Now, we're back to the first letter, B. So we have T, B, and C. Let's see who's next. We have a top. Will a top match with the letter C? No, because top begins with a t, t, t sound. Let's see B. Will it go with a b, b? No. Would top go with T? Yes, because it's T, top, T. Got it? So now we have those letters done so far. What about what's left? Here is the next picture. It's a bat. Which one would it go? Is it C or is it B? It's B, bat, B. See? Now, we want to finish with the last letter that had a picture, and it was cat for the letter C. C, cat, very important that you do rever uh, review these puzzles. It makes it easier for those who are learning English because smart is not something you are. Smart is something you get.